as opposed to having the standard 30 days to respond to objection and appeals, you now have 80 working days. However, SARS has given themselves 60. Hey, look, on the other hand, they didn't give themselves 80. So let's work with that and we'll be grateful for our extension. They've also clarified that delivery to an incorrect address cannot be counted as notice as required under the new rules. And then last but not least, there's also quite a bit of discussion on the difference, be on the difference between an invalid and a disallowed objection. Right. The short version, if you go and have a look at an invalid as opposed to a disallowed, an invalid objection is where the objection contains some form of technical error, right? And what I mean by technical error, I mean it either had the incorrect income tax code, it didn't have the right date, it didn't have the right income tax number, number it referred to the incorrect period, something like that. Okay. Whereas a disallowed objection is one where SARS goes and says, hmm, we see you didn't like the fact that we disagreed with you on the de deductibility of the expense. Tough tacky, short version. In other words, a disallowed expense or a disallowed objection is one in which SARS actually issues a judgment call on the technical nature of the objection that you've submitted. Whereas in an invalid objection, they're saying, we, don't under we, we can't complete with your objection because there's missing information, if that makes sense. Um, that's all that I'm going to go on for now. I've seen some comments in terms of saying, well, SARS already used 60 days, so what's the difference? Well, I suppose the biggest difference now is that they're actually legally using 60 days as opposed to um, just having given themselves 60 days. So, yeah, they're, they're, ma they're making their working practice fit the rules, if that makes sense. Please note days as far as I'm, work I'm using here in terms of the dispute resolution guide has always referred to business days rather than calendar days. So from that point of view, it's a lot more than we'd originally thought. Okay.